This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Uh, Anthony, big time uh, performance today for the team. You guys are 6-0 and now. You led the way with 11 tackles, had a, t a half TFL in there as well. Uh, overall, what was that locker room celebration like for you guys? Um, it was it was pretty exciting, you know, uh, to go 6-0. and um, Blessed, happy, you know, proud of this team. All the work we put in is paying off. Uh, just got to keep it going. And when you signed up for this to come to Liberty, I mean, you know, did you envision a start like this, being a part of something like this? Oh, uh, I knew it was going to be good, but I, I mean, I didn't know what the schedule was going to be. But when, when I took a look at the schedule, I, I never wanted to jinx myself, but I did see us having a chance to be have this type of success. I mean, you never know. It's college football. You never know. But I definitely felt as though that we, we definitely had a chance of being 5-0, 6-0. They, they threw a, uh, a surprise at you today with the quarterback situation. When did you find yeah. out that uh, Jack Abraham was not going to be the guy, and how did that affect you guys out there early on? Um, officially, we, uh, we we didn't find out till right before kickoff. So we was out there on the field, and they told us uh, Six is going to be the guy, but we, we felt like they were still going to run similar offense, you know, just try to get him into some uh, some easier passes, a uh, quick game, you know, nothing that was going to be too challenging for him. And, um, I say about after the first or second drive, we kind of realized that he was going to be a guy today. Where if his first week, if his first read was taken away, he was just going to um, try to pull it down and scramble and make something play. But he wasn't just going to like sit back there and go through progressions and look from one rece one one receiver to the next type of thing. Looked like after that first drive, you guys were able to kind of settle in there <coughs> though and, and and find yourselves a little bit. Uh, what what changed after that first drive? You know, like I said, uh, you, you kind of just got a feel for what they were going to do, um, what kind of game this was going to be. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, 11 personnel with, with a yo and uh, zone read, quick passes, RPO, uh, you know, just got to stay in those windows and uh, force, force him to take the ball and run, which we did, and uh, it led to us having some success. Second half got a little weird there with the yeah. turnover. You guys got put in a couple bad spots. Coach Breeze said he felt like that you guys played better than – than what 35 points might indicate. Do you kind of feel that way too? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, you can say that, but the score is a score. You know, uh, we, we're a defense that's trying to be, not trying to just be okay or good. We want to be great. So, I mean, uh, I think uh, we got to come out and do things better. Um, when it, If they put us in a bad situation, we need to be able to hold them to field goals, and we didn't get any field goal opportunities. So, no, I feel like we, we need to do better. Um, 35 points is never good enough. I don't care how you draw it up. Um, we just got to be – we got to be better. Last one for me. How much are you going to enjoy an off week now? I'm going to enjoy this. It's, it's definitely needed. Um, you know, get back to the to the little things, you know, as far as techniques and uh, getting our bodies fresh for a big game that we got in two weeks against Virginia Tech. Really good football team. Bombs. You go ahead, Ryan. First question from up here is from Damian Sordelet. Hey, Anthony. Uh, last week you guys focused on the quick change situations because of how good Syracuse was at turning the ball over, and you guys made some big stops after quick changes. Were you guys a little disappointed that after that fumble to open the second half that you guys weren't able to make the stand like you guys did last week against Syracuse? Yeah, of course. You know, uh, we, we've already put on tape of what we're capable of, so anytime you don't reach that standard, you know, it's like it's, it's – like, you held, you hide just you hide, you hide yourself to a standard, so you're expecting to meet that standard all the time. So when you know you when you know you're capable of doing it, and then you don't do it, it is very disappointing. Are there any other questions for Anthony? Yeah, I'll ask him another. Uh, okay. Anthony, as the second half's going on, what was a key to you guys getting back on track defensively after it seemed like, you know, Worley was able to run the ball well, uh, keep it, and then, you know, Brownlee was getting involved, uh, to, you know, Jones was getting involved. What was a key for you guys in turning this, turning the game around and seizing the momentum away from them? Uh, I, think it, I think it's just more of a momentum swing. You know, they get the ball in, in our territory, and we wasn't expecting that. And then the next drive, you know, they go for an uh, onside kick, essentially, and get the ball back. Wasn't expecting that. So uh, I think it's just, you know, it's just a matter of, of you know, a sudden change situations and them having the momentum and, and, not, and, try, and relaxing and not being on your toes and always aware that at any given moment the defense could be up. So, you know, I think it's just 
something like that, you know. Uh, one thing I've always been told growing up was offenses can always punt. Defense, there is no punt. It either results in a third down stop or a touchdown. That's, that's, that's how it goes. So defense, as a defensive player, you always have to be on your toes. You know, you, you can never relax because of situations like that. Offensively, you know, you can always go out there and punt the ball and, and keep, the, keep the game going. But um, defense is, is, is a lot different. So, yeah.